We have a very special treat for you this morning as local artist Bill Bledsoe joins us this morning to unveil his newest work. Bill, appreciate you being here. Thanks today. for having me, Chris. Glad to be here. And we're talking about the Storytelling Festival. Yes. Yeah, at this time of the year, among other things, we talk about storytelling. Uh, talk to us about this very special piece you've put together. Uh, this is uh, uh, the 26th year that I've created artwork at the festival, and last year was the last year that I made prints right. of, the, of the particular images I've done. But this year, what I've done is, in, in creating this, I've made a, a, it's essentially a kit where you buy it and you make your own 3D version of this image. This is 3D and in the kit you have four templates and you hand colorize them yourself and then you put it together and make a, a 3D painting. And I love this scene that's depicted here because it almost I can almost go down to Jonesboro and pick a place or two down there that this almost looks exactly what's going on. Well, that's that's that, that was certainly my intention. Of course, you've got the the signature storytelling tent. Right. This is in the evening. Uh, you have the uh, spinning wheel, which is a symbol of the yarn spinner or the storyteller, and then the little storytelling man that's in all of my prints. Is you can see a silhouette back here behind the tree, smoking his pipe, and then there's the. Uh, uh, the courthouse tower in the distance. So, um, yeah, I, I, I was very pleased with this piece. Uh, this was actually based on an on a image I did for the Storytelling Festival for their yarn spinner event that they have at the festival right. every year, uh, last year. But it was such a perfect image to make into a 3D. Yeah, and so what you do is you can just set it out on your kitchen right. table. You hand colorize them. It doesn't make a difference how old or young you are, <laughs> and it doesn't matter what your aptitude in art is. You can really be able to create a really beautiful piece uh, by using this process. And uh, um, anyway, and how and where are these going to be available at? They're the available case? at Mox in Jonesboro. Okay. They will be available beginning on Friday. There's only 25 sets. Oh wow! And so uh, I wanted to see how people responded to it. So if you want one. They're very inexpensive, and if you want one, I would encourage you to call and reserve it uh, because uh, I'm sure the festival goers will get them up. And That's I love right. the fact you could try to duplicate what you did. If you really like this and the way it looks and everything, you can try to duplicate this sure. on your own, but you can also personalize it and make and it the way you see it. That's the idea, you know, is that you make it the way you see it. You know, there's different colored tints, uh, the, the way the colors in the trees, uh, everything. It's, it's, it's designed for you to individualize. And it's really designed for families to get together and do it together, though right. you can do it as a personal endeavor. Uh, uh, and I just love the depth. I mean, I know it's, of course, 3D, but right. I just love the depth of the color. I love the depth of the perspective and everything. And again, that composition, the composition has to work with that. You can't mm -hmm. do every image like that. Right. And so the idea being is that in designing these, I make them so that they work well as a 3D. They're easy to do and, uh, and a joy at the same time. And this gets people fired up for the for the oh, storytelling sure. festival. Sure. Uh, we got we got a lot going on this weekend. Oh my gosh, we were talking about it earlier. It's a <laughs> it's a full slate, isn't it? It is a full slate, and you got these at Mox. And this is not the first 3D painting that you've done. No, I've done I've done several, but this is the first one that I've done and made it so that other people could do it as well. Again, the idea being, we have so many children who, who come with their families to the festival and they get a big kick out of the prints every year. And I thought to myself, if there was something that they could do to be able to participate in the creation of that as well, uh, uh, that that would be a you know that that would be a joy because right. it is all about family it's it all is. about friends mm -hmm. and, and and people buy those prints because they're memories and what they associate with that print so this just adds to it all right Bill appreciate you bringing that in <laughs> thank you sir it, thank it you. is the national storytelling festival that's going on October 2nd through the 4th this weekend in Jonesboro these kits will be available there at Mox in downtown it's right there on the corner you can't miss it there is a number if you need more information and a website as well hey stay with us daytime tri-cities we got a lot going on this morning